Okay, I'm right back. So the new one points to the old one, as I was saying. And um, so if I want to edit the new one, that would be fine. Um, let's add some more to it. Whoops. More, 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 a mole, more, more. Okay, and we'll save that. Maybe a little screwed up, but that's okay. It, it works. Um, so if we list this file, we get the right thing. If we list this file, we get the right thing. So it's working correctly. But if I delete this file, everything would be cool. On the other hand, if I delete this, uh, the first file, the original file, that's the file that has the data in it, then I do an LS, and I've got this here. So I should be able to display real new file. But it won't display because I've deleted the, because it's just a pointer to new file, and I deleted new file, so the data is all gone, so I lost everything. So I've got to be careful on what I delete when I'm using a symbolic link. As an example, if I would delete my original data file up here, which is a hard link, notice the number of hard links went from 3 to 2. And if I want to um, display that, it displays just fine. That's because the data is still there. It's just simply um, under another name. Now, I should maybe mention that for a new file. When I delete that file, it doesn't actually go in and scrub the disk and delete the file. All it does is it points a little flag into the inode table saying that that inode is no longer good, that it's a deleted file. It gets rid of the inode, or it gets rid of the information in the inode table. And um, you know, if I'm lucky, I could still recover that. Uh, I can recover the, that data as long as that, ha uh, until that file, until that data has been, those data blocks have been reused in another file. So if you're trying to hide things from you know, the police and some foreign, a computer forensics guy is going to come in, you know, scrub your hard drives. Don't, uh, don't depend on just deleting these files because they don't go away. Uh, not immediately. OK. Um, now, the other, the last thing about symbolic links is let's go back to this command here where I'm trying to build this link. And remember, that was an error. But if I try this as a symbolic link going across file systems, guess what? Works just beautifully. Now, if I delete RRR, -R -R -R, I'm only deleting the symbolic link. I'm not deleting the data. And believe me, that's important, because I don't want to delete that's this data. But, um, but I'm only deleting the symbolic link. That's gone. And my file is still there. All. 61 megabytes of it. So uh, so everything's cool. Um, symbolic links I find to be really useful. I use a lot of symbolic links. Uh, one thing that makes them really useful is suppose I make a file system and my slash home directory is too small or proves to be too small. Uh, one thing I might do is I might add a new hard drive to my system, another, you know, six gigabyte, uh, terabytes or whatever. And instead of trying to rebuild the system or anything, I will just um, rename home to being home.old. I will then um, use the link command to create a symbolic link to my new 
to a directory on my new disk drive, which will then look just like slash home slash whatever user it is, copy everything into that new drive, and I'm in business. I never even took down the system, um, well, unless I had to take down the system to put the new hard drive in. But if it's a re, um, external hard drive, I never took down the system. I never did anything. And I just added a lot of data and capacity to the system. That is really cool. I don't know of any equivalent to that within Windows or within, uh, well, Macs are based on FreeBSD. So you can do the same thing on a Macintosh. Um, but on I've used many, many non-Unix systems, and I don't know the equivalent of a, of a link on many um, non-Unix systems. It's a really cool feature. OK, that finishes our discussion on links. Um, and um, um, the next thing we want to discuss is um, um, file permissions. I'll come back in another part of the video to do that.